Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today's video is about animating titles. I have a swivel title with some different animation and entry points and adding some different effects for you. So make sure if you enjoy this video, you smash that like button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So please, without further ado, let's get to it. i am show you how to do it in LumaFusion. So let's get started by starting a new project. The first thing I'm going to do is say plus and add a main title. After I add the main title, I'm going to edit it by double clicking on it. I'm going to delete the text and add a shape. Change the shape to be the shape I want to use. Now the next thing I will do is come down to center X and Y to make sure that box is centered perfectly on the screen by save putting these to 50. The next thing I'm going to do is change the face color to my selected color. This is one of my favorites. If you have a color you like, all you have to do is select it and click the plus. Now one of the things I am going to do is so I can see the background really well, I'm going to change the background color to a gray. I'm going to change my edge color to white and the width to 60. Next, the shadow opacity to 40, the distance to 35 to 50, depending on what you like. I'm going to go to 40 and change the blur around 65. Actually, I'm going to choose 60. Now, I always like to save these as presets when I'm working on them, so I always have that size in case I lose it for some reason. So I'm going to come here to the star with the plus and tap on it. This is Save Title Preset, and I'm going to name this. I always name it the shape first, the color second, the trim next. And when you're done with typing it in, hit tap the plus. I'm not sure what's happening here. Mine keeps going to the small. I have to go back. If that happens and come back in, it is some kind of a glitch right now with LumaFusion. Now that I have my shape saved, I'm going to add text. Now my favorite text for this is not the default. I'm going to come up and change it to copper plate. And I'm going to just keep the size of this text at 72, is come down to the edge color and add the width to approximately 7 to 10. Again, I'm going to add a shadow, make it opaque, and blur it. And again, you can add the distance to whatever you want. Once I have my text, again, I'm going to be using this text again. So I want to come to the circle with the plus and the underline and change the title style. That's the text that you have here. And then make sure you tap in here. Now that I have that, I'll be able to use it again. Again, if you want to make changes or you have this text and you ever want to delete it, all you have to do is tap on it, something and say delete and you can delete anything you save. Always make sure your center is X and Y is at 50. That I'm done with this, I'm also going to save this as a title preset. And this one will be box blue text. Make sure you tap this to save it. We're going to return to the main timeline. So now the first thing I wanna do is I need a five second clip. So I'm gonna move this out to five seconds. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into this and I'm going to change what this text says. I'm going to start with LumaFusion for me. And again, I'm going to come now to the one second mark and use the split tool, the scissors, to make a split. Come to the two second mark and make another one second split. So I have a one second, a one second, and a three second clip. I'm now going to tap or edit that clip and we're going to make our entry animation. Let's come into frame and fit and come into cropping. Before we start the crop, we're going to move the timeline to the beginning and we're going to make a crop mark at the end. So we're going to roll all the way to here and make another crop mark without any movement first. Now we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to crop the bottom to the very top of this item. We're going to now crop the left to, to 5 -0. Point zero and the same with the right. Now the animation will look like this. Now I always call this selling the animation. I'm also going to add a bit of edge softness. Now if you add too much, your animation will come in too late. So I'm going to put it at 25 
and notice you actually start seeing it about 0.04 seconds. So it's going to come in, voila, we're going to go back to the main timeline. Now we're going to put a spin on this LumaFusion. This time we are also in frame and fit, but we're going to stay at size and position. We're going to add our first crop mark and we're going to come to the very end and add another crop mark. We're going to come to size X to as small as it will go, which is 0.1. Now it's going to look like it's rotating. So it comes in, it rotates, and now what we're going to do is double tap in this box. We're going to Make sure we come back to text and we're going to change the word LumaFusion to animation. To Once you've changed the title, go back to frame and fit. Make sure you're in size and position and put in your first keyframe mark. Move your timeline to the three second mark and put in a keyframe mark. At this point, we are going to take this keyframe at the very beginning and change the size X all the way down to 0.1. So now from the other keyframe, it's going to come in and now twirl to animation. We now want animation to stay on the screen for one second. So we will go out to the two second mark. You can do whatever. This is personal preference. I'm going to put a mark in here. So this will just stay there for one second. Now I'm going to go to the end, put in another keyframe, bring my size X, back down to as low as it will go, 0.1. I'm now going to return to the main timeline and I have this animation. If you were working on a big project and you wanted to do this animation again, all you would need to do is tap. I'm going to just show this. This is called the multi-select tool in the clipboard. This here is multi-select. So I'm going to tap the multi-select tool. I'm going to grab all of these come to the clipboard and I can copy these and come in and paste them. And then I could come in and change this text to whatever I wanted it for my next animation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a circle transition. I will go to the plus main title and I'm going to change this one immediately to three seconds. Now I'm going to double tap, come into title, come into the text and delete it. I'm going to come to shape, change it to oval and change this to as close to a circle as I can and resize it to meet my needs. I would advise you again to come down to the center X and Y to make sure you have this at 50 and 50 so your circle is centered. Now we're going to change the face color and we're going to change it to the same color. That's why we saved the favorite so we never have to guess. The difference here is I'm going to set the opacity on this one to 60 so you can see what happens when you make something opaque. The edge color is going to be white and the width will be 60. You'll notice when it's opaque it makes almost a circle and a circle shape look to this. Now we are going to add a shadow to this shape and we're going to do a distance of 20, a blur of 30, an opacity of 40. Next thing we're going to do is save this as a title preset. So we're going to save it as a circle blue and save it by tapping there. Now you have it saved as a title preset. Now we're going to add our text and we've saved this text as copper 72. Tap in here and I'm going to type objects, text, and images. Done. That I want to make sure center X and Y is sitting it at 50 for my text as well. Again, save this as a title preset. And I'm going to save it as circle with text and tap right here so it saves it. Now we're going to come back to frame and fit and we're going to set the rotation for this as well as how we want it to come in with some motion. So we're going to roll to the very beginning. We're going to make sure we set this to rotate just like the other one did. So we'll set a keyframe at the beginning. We're going to roll forward one second, put in another keyframe, go to the start of the keyframe, come down to the X size and change it all the way here to nothing. So now it will come in as a rotation as well. Then again, we're going to roll one second, put in another keyframe so this stays on the screen, come to the end, put in a keyframe and change size X to zero one. Now when you make this change, you don't have to put that keyframe in. I'm just sort of double double check for me. 
Now the next thing I want to do is I want it to come from the top and down. So I'm going to roll to the very beginning. I'm going to pull my this down and I'm going to come to the Y position and I'm going to pull it up to about negative 70, 65, whichever you want to do. Just take note of the number so you do the same for both. And now it's going to come in from the top like this here and I'm going to come to the end and again I'm going to come to that Y position and pull that to that negative 70-ish that I used before. So it's pretty much the same motion coming in and out. So now you have the intro, the motion, swinging, staying on screen, swinging and bringing in a circle, text and moving out. You can do this with anything and I'm going to show you that as well in just a second. The next thing I want to show you is how you can continue to reuse this. Now, number one, when you come to this arrow right here, you can save this as a Luma Fusion project package. You can, I will save it to files, tap here, and then I can say and name it whatever I want to. And I'll name that and I'll tap here. It'll give me a choice for location. Now I have LumaFusion on my 256, which is this drive right here. I have titles. So I save all these backups in here. Now the great thing is I'm also going to take this title file and you will find it out on my Google Drive. There'll be a link in the description down below and you can have this for free. I'm now going to tap here, the multi-select tool. Tap here, pull, hold down, you can grab everything and say copy. Now I'm going to come to the very end and I'm going to say paste. So now I have the same animation. Let's see what we do with this. Let's come to that first text box and instead of LumaFusion, and I'm going to change this text. I'll do so fairly quickly. Now when I do this, because this is an intro slide here, I need this one to also say the same thing. So I'm just going to take that. I could have copied and pasted it as well, but I'll just type it again. So now, of course, I have the entry of please. It rotates. And then instead of animation, oh, I bet you know what's coming. Yes. Please subscribe to the Peppy Techie. I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel, please. And there's subscribe. And I can come to this. And I do say objects and text. So let's take a look at how I could do that. I'm going to come to this. And I'm just going to make that so you cannot see it right now. I'm going to say plus an image. Import an image. I'll go get my Peppy Techie logo. Come down, make sure it's centered. Use this scale button so it stays centered. And I'm going to leave it right there. And again, as I move up, see it stays centered because I use that scale button. And now it comes in and there it is with the logo. So you can add anything to that you wish. Now, of course, you could also, if you wanted to, hide the shape as well. And of course, now, just my logo comes in with that same spinning transition. Again, if you want to save the project, use this here. Now, if you wanted to use this in a project, I'm going to double tap again, and I'm going to click the multi-select tool, hold this down, grab everything again, and I'm going to move it up on the timeline. What I'm going to do is put a video underneath this. We would also add some music to it. All right, and here we go. There we go. I hope you subscribe to the Peppy Techie. I hope you learned a lot today. And I hope you will leave a comment down below and tell me how this helped you and how maybe I can help you in the future. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie YouTube channel.